<laughs> hey guys and welcome to another episode of Tool Time. In this video we'll be looking at the Warp Tool in Adobe Illustrator. And if you want to follow along then you can download a free template file for this lesson from the description below. Okay, I'm going to pass you over to our lead designer Rory who will show you how it works. Thanks Ross. So jumping straight into our template file, we can find the warp tool underneath the width tool over on the left hand side. So clicking and holding down on the width tool, you will see the next tool down in the sub menu is the warp tool and the keyboard shortcut is shift R. So like many of these tools, we first need to have an object selected to use this on. I'm going to grab my selection tool and we're just going to focus on this bottom orange semicircle and the width tool is only going to apply to the objects we have selected. So I'm going to grab my warp tool again and I can simply use this by clicking and dragging through any paths to create a warped area. So I can do this by clicking and dragging from the outside in or the inside out in this example. So if I double click on the warp tool itself we get a pop-up where we can adjust things like the brush size so we can make this more of an oval shape if we want. We can adjust things like the angle and the intensity as well. You'll notice we have a checkbox for use pressure pen which which we'll show you later on in this video. And we have things like detail and simplify settings, which depending on the settings will create a more smoothed path or a more detailed path. Now I'm just going to click OK. We can also adjust the brush size on the fly. So if I hold Option or Alt on a PC and click and drag, if I drag to the right, that's going to make this wider, to the left is going to make it thinner, and similarly up and down is going to make this taller or shorter. I can also hold Shift at the same time and that's going to lock it to a perfect circle if that's what you have set in the first place. Another thing is that if I hold shift and click and drag it's going to stick to a horizontal plane so I'm trying to move up and down and you can see the brush isn't moving at all. So I'm going to start creating some edits to this semicircle. I can also select multiple objects and apply warping to both of them at the same time. So selecting both of these blue semicircles, I can double click back into my settings here and just as an example, we'll adjust the intensity and I'll just show you an extreme example by going up to 100%. If I click through this, you can see it's going to have a much greater effect on how much it's being warped. I'm going to go back and change this to about 20% just for something slightly more subtle in this case. So we'll just leave this example as is for now and we'll move down to this outlined letter S. And where this can also be useful is with the use of a graphics tablet. So as I mentioned previously, if I, if I double click back into our warp tool options, we have an option to use pressure pen. So that's going to take into account the pressure being applied with the graphics tablet, which can be a slightly more intuitive way of using this. So I'm going to click OK and switching over to my graphics tablet, I'm just going to start clicking and pushing pushing down and if I apply more pressure in this example you can see it's going to warp even more. So this is a slightly easier way of using it and it means I can create a little bit more variation in what I'm doing without the need to constantly change the settings within the tool. And as you can see we can create some quite interesting edits to our objects. But that's it for an overview of the warp tool in Adobe Illustrator. If you want to learn more about graphic design we've created a free one hour training where you'll discover are the top five secrets of successful designers, which saves you the hassle of having to figure it all out for yourself. We'll be showing you how to immerse yourself in the sector you're designing for, creative thinking and how to spark creativity, what good composition is and how you can achieve it in your designs, how to pick the right colors for your designs and how to pick the right typefaces for your projects. So if you are serious about leveling up your design skills, then make sure to sign up for the next free webinar. Space is limited and these events always fill up fast because they're significantly better than the information others charge you for. And ours is free. The link is in the description. You're not gonna want to miss it. I'll see you there.